Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let me introduce myself. I am Leandro, also known as DJ Honey Hell or Honey. I'm a techno DJ and producer from Brazil. Um, I started learning music production when the coronavirus pandemic struck here in Brazil. So, so far I consider myself a beginner. So this is not a tutorial, nor am I a teacher, but as I have been learning music production through videos on YouTube and templates, I also would like to share the template of my track Fanfare with you guys. I started off this track in August 2021. I loved the idea of the track, but I didn't like the final result. Um, probably because at that time I didn't have enough knowledge. Uh, I don't think I have yet, but well, so at that time it was a little bit worse. So I decided to put away this track and carry on doing uh, another tracks and learning more. So then later on I could get back to this track and tweak yeah and tweak it again um well so last month i decided to open up the project again and do my best to finish and launch this track so i did and i launched this track on april and now i would like to share the template of this track with you guys uh the template will be more or less for free uh you only have to do three things one is subscribe to my channel here the second one is follow me on instagram and the third is buy the track on beat part it has to be on beat part um you can buy the format you want it doesn't matter to me um, I'm just needing your help to grow numbers, to grow figures, so you can buy the cheapest, it doesn't matter. Just buy it and send me uh, the receipt and your email on Instagram so I can send you the template. Um, let me first apologize for my English mistakes. I am very nervous and this is the first time I'm doing such a video like this. And as you can note, English is not my mother language. Well, and second, um, as I previously said, I am my student yet, so I might have done and committed some mistakes i won't call mistakes but i might have done some crazy or unconventional uh things during the process of doing this track okay so some of you may think this is what i've done is not very appropriate but well i'm my students okay Mm, well, I hope you guys like the track. I also hope you guys enjoy the template. I think it can be very useful for learning, for taking some ideas, or maybe to take some samples, or whatever. You can do much with a template. Well, without further ado, let's dive in. So here we go guys, we are at 130 BPM, let me first uh, turn off all those channels, yeah, so in the first channel here I have a sidechain trigger, uh, which, which is a, a basic sidechain and it's only the trigger, it's set to sends only, so we cannot hear this along the track. And I also take the opportunity to uh, color the mid clip, so I, I do know what's going on along the track. So I have blue when the kick's playing, black when the kick is not playing, so basically it's a break. And in the pink one, I have some bridge 
or maybe the Kiki is playing many times or maybe I low pass the the kick something like that okay so the first group of channel here is composed by the kick bass and the synthesizers let's have a look on the kick first the kick and bass so here we have the kick it's a kick and a clap they are together and the kick follows a four to the floor pattern here in the end ah uh, so here we have many kicks playing together and sometimes we have like a bridge it's a very simple kick The only real effects here are I have a saturator with a soft design and then the EQ just cutting some frequencies here and open up space for the bass and synths here then we have the bass Let me turn off all the effects. So here is the bass. It's a straightforward G pattern. We are only opening up space for the kick to play first and then the bass come. I'm using a silent one preset called the Heavy Moogie Bass. I, I probably have tweaked this a little bit, but I don't really remember now what I have done. But it's a very simple sound, as you can see. Then I put an amp. An EQ. Compressor to sidechain to the kick. Another EQ. opening up space for the kick then I have this utility and auto filter but it's not being used right now before in the previous version of this song I have the bass playing here and I was kind of automating those areas but I decided in the end to take it off so here is the kick and bass together Nice, isn't it? So now we come to the synthesizers. So first, uh, just one second. Okay. So here we have the synthesizers only. Let me turn off all the effects. So, we have the pattern as G and G sharp, and in the end, I jump one octave. And I'm using a, pre a preset from Ableton called Basic FM House Bass. And then this is the sound, then I put an amp, an EQ, a compressor to sidechain to the kick, another EQ, and this auto filter for automation, so let me... There is not so many automation, but you can see some. So this is the first synth size. Uh, 
then we go to the second which is playing in a higher octave but we can see the pattern is basically the same although the notes are a little bit shorter let me turn off all the effects so the sound is a preset of silent one called lead follow uh, I probably have tweaked this a little bit but I again don't really remember what I have done but it's a very simple sound uh, and then I just uh, put an EQ an overdrive an echo an echo again a drum bus just to bring the sound the sound up as the echo push it behind so I I put the drum bus here just to make it alive to give it presence again again an EQ and an auto filter to make the automation along the track so those two together good then I have the next one is the arpeggio this one is a bit interesting I've done a lot of processing along so that is the sound It's a preset from Silent One called 303 Saw Drive. I probably tweak a little bit as well, but anyway. And so here we have the straight pattern, like G. It's in G. And here I'm moving up just to make this. but it's with the arpeggiator on and then I have an overdrive Sorry. then I have an overdrive saturator delay then I then sometimes I use some um, effect to rack just to make things more interesting in this case I have one chain here which is with more delay, echo, pan just to make the sound bounce around let me show you how it is only with this chain so the echo chain as you can notice it's panning and in the chain i have this echo an overdrive to bring the sound up the pan and a compressor side chaining to to itself just to the dry signal to come louder okay then i have the dry signal what makes it really alive you can see it's clipping then I have this ping pong echo, radiator, and an EQ, a compressor to sidechain to the kick. And in this case, I have a limiter in the end because of these peaks here. So as the this sound is moving up and down, it was giving me some problems during the mix um well as i said i am my student and uh, i might have done many wrong or unconventional un unconventional things 
And in this case, for <laughs> for this this in this case, I would say I put some limiters in the music just to uh, have control along the mixing process. Okay. Then I have another thing here. Let's see. The first one sounds like this. As you can see, it's a sample. It's just this sound. Dun, dun. Then I put an overdrive, broken pipe, it, which is a, a echo, another echo. And then an EQ. So that's it for this another thing I would call. And then we have this one here. Which sounds like the other one, the previous one. And we almost have the same process. I just uh, put an overdrive to bring the sound a little bit alive, an echo, delay, and the EQ. So, this is the group compo composed by kick, bass, and synthesizers. They sound like this. So, next group is some percussions, which first is the tone. So it's just this tone, it's a very simple pattern, tum, 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 tum. A very simple pattern. So this is the original sound, and then I, I put on drum bus, delay, echo, sorry, EQ, and a limiter, just to control the peaks. The next one is this, the, this track name called Fanfare which is the sound like this a real fanfare playing huh? so here we have only those effects so this is the sound then i brought on saturator Overdrive, an EQ, another EQ, it's the same. Then together,
Then we go for the high percussions, which we first have a shaker. Very basic shaker, as you can see the pattern. Full of effects on it. Here, here is how it sounded at the beginning. Then I place it, I put a, a bit warmer saturator, an EQ, and then I have two chains. This one is the dry one. Here is the one with effects. So pan, overdrive, and echo saturator to bring the sound up again and side chaining to itself and I put an hybrid reverb just to open the sides then we have the dry signal then we compress to glue them together another saturator an EQ this other compressor is not being used so that's it for the shakers. Then we have uh, this sample, which is like a top look, which which I put one pedal and then an overdrive and EQ. those two together and sometimes we have this one here very simple too I I won't unfreeze just because my CPU is going crazy a little bit so we have this top loop as well with a saturator, a delay and EQ. The same happens to the other one. So as you can see, it's just some percussions along the track just to make it interesting and less repetitive. Then we go to what I call beats. I have percussions, but in the middle, let's say, like in the middle frequency range. So we have the tone, first tone. Which I put an overdrive, delay, and echo. And then another tone. Them both together then we have this another sample here which is only it has only an overdrive and EQ which takes us to this one which has only a saturator delay and EQ Then we have the clap here. Which is this sample of clap, which I put on saturator, a reverb, and I made two chains, one dry and one here with delay, digital pong delay, equal. On, on reality, so digital pong echo, an hybrid reverb, I side chain it to itself, so this is the sound, then I just 
put a saturator after this chain so to glue the sound together then I put a glue compressor an EQ and I finally side the chain to the key and to make it louder I put a limiter on it very simple pattern dun, 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 dun. Okay. then we have the hats it's three ha different hats so we have then here but we we have three different sounds this is one this is the other one and here we have another one then together makes it in my opinion much more interesting because the sounds are moving a little bit and then I put a saturator I compress them just to glue them together and an EQ then here we have the symbol which is a sample but very simple pattern with an overdrive saturator delay and an EQ and here we have another symbol which I'm calling as fast because probably it goes a little bit like uh, faster than the other one you can see the pattern here so which are two sounds one for the right in the right side this one in the left then two together and then I put an overdrive I equalize it then then put a saturator echo I compress them to glue them together and then I put a final EQ just to shape the sound then then we have some effects like this one Mm. which has only one overdrive delay and uh, the equalizer and then we come to this other one oh sorry which has only a delay and an equalizer and the last one and in my opinion most important is the voices so here we have what? So let's see the original sound. Was like this. Then I put um, then I put a reverb, overdrive, a echo, and an EQ. Then we have here Here we have the word bring it Only with a saturator and a Q Bring it And here Come on Come on which has a saturator, an echo, EQ, and a sidechain compressor because it's playing along the kick. So, then, basically, those are the channels in the track, and then we have the returns. Uh, so for the returns the first one is the drum room which is basically some drums some drums that I consider important like 
some shakers, hi hats, things like that. And I put a glue compressor. Sometimes it was necessary. And of course the reverb with 100% wet and a very short decay time. And then a camel crush with bridge chicling. I love this bridge chicling, especially for percussion. Then an EQ to cut out the lows and side chain it to the kick. Then I have one synth room for one of the synthesizers, which is a fab filter reverb, fat ambient, with an overdrive, an echo, drum bass. And in the end, I always put a side chain, side chain, just to control everything, you know, and have that pumping effect. So we have a, a normal delay, and we also have this reverb here, which is another uh, synthesizer room. Let's put on this way because it's the room for the synthesizers. So. It had a decapitator, it is only here, but we have an echo boy, a tall reverb, a compressor to side chain to the kick, and another EQ. Then all together. So those are only the reverbs and the delay. That's how it sounds. And then the last return is the parallel uh, drum room. I don't know how to call it exactly, but it's a parallel compression uh, of the drums. So I have the kick, the main clap, uh, the hi hats. They are all very heavily compressed, and I put a camel crush with the ultra path and well and then I mix with the overall sound you can see it, it does a big difference in my opinion let's hear without Uh, the drums uh, have more presence, you know, you can feel more the drums, in my opinion. That's the reason why I always do parallel compression in a return channel. So guys, I think that's it. I'm sorry if I was a little bit confusing along the explanations here, but I think everything went well so thank you very much for watching this and if you would like to have this template sorry my cell phone was ringing so if you would like to have this template the only thing you have to do is subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and buy the track on beatport and you can buy the format you want like mp3 the cheapest doesn't matter just buy in 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 Bitport and send me the receipt by Instagram. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great weekend and see you probably next week. Cheers! Bye.